Hey, what's up guys? Paul Tomko here. Today's video is focused on injury prevention. You know, injuries are part of the game. Whether you're an athlete, working out at home, a weekend warrior, whatever the case may be, injuries happen to the best of us. But there are very simple things that you can do to greatly reduce your chance of ever being injured. So we have a lot to cover. Let's get started. All right guys, today's video we're talking about injury prevention. A lot of us are working out and as you're working out, depending how long you've been working out, you're gonna realize injuries do occur and injuries are one of the worst parts of being active, of being athletic, of you know working out in general. It's one of the least favorite parts of being in this world, but it's uh, an important part to understand and learning how to prevent injuries is so important to the long-term game of staying motivated and staying healthy over the years. So to stay injury free, the most important thing is just to warm up really well. And what does that mean? What does it mean to warm up well? So when I'm working out, say I'm gonna work out today, I'm gonna do like an arm workout, something real basic, like an arm workout. The first thing I always wanna do is raise your core temperature for your whole body. So that means when I'm at the gym, normally I'm doing cardio, some kind of easy cardio for about five minutes, whether it's on a bike, elliptical, whatever it is, jump rope, you can do anything. Anything that's gonna raise your heart rate and get your body temperature warm. Then I'm warming up the target muscle. Whatever I'm gonna be working out that day, I do some light weights to get some more blood flow, get that specific area warmed up that I'm gonna be using later. And then when I'm actually doing my sets, doing my workouts, I normally pyramid up in weight to my heavy sets. So again, an example, if I'm doing like 40 or 50 pound dumbbell curls, my first set might be with like 20 pound dumbbells, then 30 pound dumbbells, 35, 40, 45, maybe my last set with 50 in this example. That way you don't start right away with the heavy weights because when your muscles are cold, muscles, the analogy I like to use is muscles are kind of like taffy. So warm taffy stretches very easily. Cold taffy is brittle and it snaps, it breaks very easily. So you wanna warm up your muscles, make sure the, the, the muscles, the taffy is warm and pliable, which is gonna help prevent injuries. Now there's some other ways to help per, kind of prime an area, whether it's your legs, your, maybe if you're doing like an athletic sport, you're warming up your whole body, right? So another good way to warm up your body, specific areas, is to use things that are compressing the different tissues. Because you have your muscle tissues, you have your muscle fascia, which is almost like a, a sheath that holds your fibers together. And sometimes those can get kind of gummed up, or if you have injuries in the past, you can get kind of scar tissue built up. So one way to kind of break down and kind of uh, open up those adhesions, if you have any adhesions, is to use different tools. This right here is called a tiger tail, and you can literally use this on any part of your body to kind of warm up the target area before you work it out. So if I'm warming up my legs, I'm gonna be doing legs that day. I can kind of work through the different areas of your muscle. This primarily works best for your lower body, of course. If I'm doing hamstrings, again, there's different ways you can use this to just kind of warm up your target muscle to prevent injury. Another way to work through those, kind of breaking up those adhesions, is you can use, this is called an orb, but just something that you can roll on. So I'll be using this and you can easily sit on this. Again, opening up my hamstrings, my glutes. You can use this on your back if you wanna roll out your back. Another good option is to use a, a foam roller, like this guy. Now this is one of the softer foam rollers, but you can use this to roll out your back. Get your back loosened up before a workout. You can use it on your glutes, same thing. You can use it on your hamstrings, your butt, your calves. Do it on the front if you wanna work and loosen up your quads before a workout. So this has tons of, tons of different options if you wanna use a foam roller. This is a very soft foam roller though. So what I did is I actually built a foam roller. It's not foam anymore. I used PVC pipe. I went to you know, Home Depot or Lowe's, bought some PVC pipe, I cut it bought some rubber matting and duct tape it around the PVC pipe so it wouldn't slip on a surface. And this is, <laughs> something like this is much softer. There's a lot of give, so it might not 
Um, you might not feel this much on your muscles. Whereas this, there's no give. So it's really gonna get deep into the muscle tissue and uh, be much more effective. I also have a, a longer version that I made. So some options for you, if you want to find ways to warm up your muscles before you do your workouts to make sure you don't get hurt. A lot of people will also use bands and bands are another option for you as well. And there's so many different th things you can do with bands. You know, if you're gonna be doing biceps, right? You can like stand on your, on your, on your band just to warm up the target muscle. If you're gonna be doing chest or shoulders, you can hold onto this and go behind you. And doing that will open up your chest and your shoulders, kind of open everything up. So there's tons of options using bands. Just get creative, but again, keep it really simple. Step number one, warm up your whole body. Warm up your temperature, raise your body temperature, your core temperature. Step number two, warm up the target muscle. Whatever you're gonna be working out, if you're an athlete or you're doing some kind of like event where you're using your whole body, then warm up your whole body, you know? Sometimes that might mean doing something more dynamic, like warming up with some, some squat jumps before an event, or being more dynamic, like doing these kicks. We used to do this in swimming all the time before a big event. We would warm up our hip flexors by doing something dynamic just to warm up the area and make sure you're ready for the event before you're explosive. Because if you're not warmed up and you go into something really explosive, that's when injuries occur. And injuries happen to the best of us, so when injuries do occur, I highly recommend using the RICE technique, R-I-C-E, which stands for rest, ice, compression, elevation. So you're resting the muscles, you know, resting your injury area first, then you're using ice to help kind of reduce inflammation and bring new blood flow to that area. Compression also helps reduce inflammation and elevation helps the blood flow circulate through your body. All right, that's it for this video on injury prevention. Again, injuries happen to the best of us, but there's some very simple things that we can do. Raising your core temperature, warming up the target muscle group before you hit that with any amount of intensity. Doing these very basic things will greatly reduce your chance of ever being severely injured. Did I miss any of your favorite injury prevention tips? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you check out my other training videos that I filmed on training your body, training at home, staying healthy, staying injury free, and I'll see you guys in the next video.